Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Friday, April 22nd, 2022. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar. The main event during the overnight session was the national CPI from Japan and a whole bunch of the uh, Japanese data including the PMI composite and most of this data were either in line with the expectations or even better. National CPI uh, was released at the level of 1.2% which is better than forecast of 1.1% uh, and better than the previous reading of 0.9%. Moreover, manufacturing beats the expectations, uh, industrial index beats the expectations, and the PMI composite beats the expectations. So, bunch of good data from Japan. We will definitely take a look at the US dollar to Japanese yen later. More data is coming during the London session. Very, very busy session. Retail sales from the UK uh, was uh, published uh, already, uh, minus 1.4%. So not that great apparently um, this data are making the british pound to go way lower uh, below the uh, recent um, uh, last week uh, lows uh, apparently i'm talking about cable of course because this is very very disappointing result minus 1.4 versus minus 0.3 uh, and minus 0.5 last reading this is bad bad for the uh, for the uk bad retail sales data disappointed traders pushing the British pound lower. PMI manufacturing services and composite PMI are scheduled for release from France and Germany and the whole European Union during the early hours of the London session. Um, PMI manufacturing services and composite PMI are scheduled for release um, uh, at half past 10 from the UK as well. Maybe the sentiment will improve after this data is published. However, it's very, very um, uncertainty uh, uncertain right now whether this uh, event might uh, reverse the current the current uh, market um, the movement uh, and the market um, uh, is moving lower uh, when I'm talking about the British pound, right? So we will see. Uh, New York session uh, give us some data as well. We'll get the retail sales and the industrial product prices uh, and the raw material prices from the Canada. All of this data are scheduled for release at half past two and then um, Quarter to um, quarter to four, we got the ISM manufacturing and final services PMI together with the composite PMI data from the uh, US. At the end of the day, 7 uh, p.m., we got back a huge UA recount for all of you crude oil traders. So it looks like a kind of a busy day here today. So let's start with the technical part, and we are going to start with the US dollar to the Japanese yen. Daily time frame chart of the US dollar to the Japanese yen is showing us that the uptrend is still being continued despite the fact that we have a very, very clear bearish divergence between the prices that are making higher highs and the momentum that is not making high highs and it's uh, it's uh, steady uh, at the extremely overbought uh, conditions around the level of 87 currently right so that top was made at the end is 87 points on the rsi and the recent consolidation made the rsi to drop to 75 points so it's a very very big drop in the momentum during the last three uh, days. We have a kind of a piercing pattern here on the daily time frame chart. This is a candlestick pattern that informs us, gives us a clue about the potential um, reversal incoming or a pullback or a correction. However, the level of 130 is so close, it's only 59 pips away. Uh, so I think we might see a test of this level and then the reversal or a correction towards the 125 and 15. It will be a nice big correction. And if this will happen, then uh, we will have a few percent correction. If I'm not, not, um, there you go. Almost 4% correction is expected here on the US dollar to Japanese yen. Let's wait. Let's see what will happen soon on this pair. It looks like uh, we are are uh, very very uh, tired of this uptrend and we need a nice correction 
let's now take a look at the euro dollar because there is a plenty of data coming uh, this session so they might have a uh, impact on this uh, pair what is going on on the euro dollar very very negative sign very very negative candlestick pattern on the daily time frame chart of the euro dollar what is going on we got this one we got this this candle here a pin bar a pin bar after a bounce after a new lower low this is a swing low let me just put it on the on the chart there you go 1.20 1.0760 apparently and this zone here if you if you just uh, take a look closely you will see that this zone around 1.1 but just below the 1.1 is being attacked by the, the bulls however the bears um, are simply uh, very very nicely defending this uh, this zone we got look we got five different different days when the market tried to break uh, uh, above the zone 1.0922 1.0948 just close to the 1.1 level however no avail they failed to break above this zone and this zone will be right now the key zone for uh, for bulls they need to break through the zone in order to fly towards 1.1 and then higher uh, uh, towards 1.1185 and out of the descending channel that is as you know old because it has i think it's now more than one year uh, end of the may almost one year 11 months 11 months old down uh, uh descending uh, channel and the downtrend so um next target after this uh, pin bar had been made uh technical support we are testing this support right now 1.08 and uh, 10 and the uh, low of the last week 1.07 uh, 60 if we break below the last week's low it will be very very negative uh, sign for the uh, bulls it will mean that eventually we will extend the uh, the drop towards the next technical support but that will be of course discussed uh, next time so please concentrate right now focus on right now on this uh, these two technical supports they might be tested or violated during uh, today's uh, trading uh, day so that was the uh, euro dollar let's take a look at the british pound because i said it's going down and as you can see i was absolutely right daily time and chart of the british pound called uh, to the american dollar this pair is called cable and the cable had just broken to the new weekly hello 1.2919 uh, so all of these levels here are now the technical resistance and this technical resistance looks very very uh, serious so right now i'm going to uh, zoom out to see the perspective where are we we are uh, still um, trending inside of the channel and what we are approaching please take a look at this level here uh, let me just move it 1.2836 is the 50 percent uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement of this big 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 post COVID rally on the cable right this is the uh, COVID low and this is the post covid rally since then we are going lower and lower and lower we are about to hit the 50 percent of the fibonacci retracement which means half of this post covid rally is already gone whether the level of 50 percent of the fibonacci retracement uh, will be strong enough to um, uh, to stop this bearish pressure and maybe um uh, give us some kind of a bounce maybe a, a trend reversal or something like this we will see however right now bears are in control of the market sentiment is as you can see clearly negative we are way below the level of 50 on the rsi and the dow trend uh, continues uh, so the next target basically is 1.2836 let me just uh, 1.2836 there you go this is the next target this is the next target for the for the british uh, british pound it's just at the edge of this uh, nice uh, nice uh, uh, down sloping descending uh, channel so it's uh, uh, around here and it might provide some support however the uh, the response 
uh, of this uh, support might be might be might be different so um, uh, we will see how it will go it's it's supposed to give us some kind of a bounce however how high will be the bounce where the market goes uh, right now we will see uh, we don't know right now and we will see when the market gets there there is uh, some data there are some data from the uh, from the oil industry so let's take a look at the oil crude oil and uh, to see uh, let's see what is going on here well right now uh, the volatility of the, uh, of the oil has been um, uh, decreased uh, as you can see we got this uh, uh, low volume trading days here uh, are, it looks like they are trading in the range right because we got this um, this levels here uh we need to update our levels there you go after this pin bar we got the confirmation move down consolidation it looks like we want to go uh, lower the next the nearest uh, apparently and the next of course uh, technical support is the low of the 20th of the uh, april which is at 149 so let's just uh, uh, fix our coordinates 149 is the low so we need to break below this level and then of course the road towards the 9361 and the lows of the wave c is of course uh, open so that's the crude oil outlook for the friday and the uh, and the uh, weekend um and monday maybe uh, partially let's take a look at the daily time frame chart of bitcoin again um very interesting candle here around the 42,616 around the technical uh resistance big 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 pin bar here uh, is telling us that uh, the market wants to continue lower and it looks like it will continue lower uh because the short-term trend line uh right now this one has been violated the longer trend line uh had been violated already a long time ago like uh last week uh, so we don't don't have to um, worry about it the sentiment is still negative momentum is negative bears are in control of the bitcoin still bears are in control of the daily time frame chart of bitcoin and they are pushing the market lower despite the fact that just recently they made 20 percent uh, drop right so please keep an eye on 39,877 basically on the level of 40,000 right as a as a level that might provide some support of course uh, uh, the lows let me just um, uh, put some uh, uh, line here to make everything clear we got the lows at the level of uh, 38,000 and uh, 38,574 so this is the low and if this low is violated 37,000 is waiting for us as the next target for a best it looks like we still got the chance to move lower today and during the weekend that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye